with the huge range of individual vitamin supplements as well as multivitamins available on the shelves these days, it can be pretty confusing when it comes to working out what we require. I'm here at Lively to talk to clinical dietitian Zaina about whether we actually need to be taking supplements. So can we get all the vitamins we need by eating a healthy diet? Yes, definitely we can. If we focus on eating a balanced diet, we can definitely get all the vitamins we need and the minerals we need. By balanced diet, I mean we need to consume a variety of fruits and vegetables, whole grain products instead of refined products for the fiber. Um, we also need to consume some low-fat dairies, some meat and meat uh, products, some also plant sources of uh, protein like legumes and beans. This way, if we get a, for a variety of all the food groups and an appropriate amount, then definitely we can get the vitamins that we need from the food. So are there some cases where supplements are required? Yes. Now, there are some cases which we, which a person cannot get enough from food. For example, during pregnancy, right. uh, women need to take folic acid uh, from supplements and fortified foods because they cannot get enough that they need from, from the food. So this is one case. Same thing with lactation as well. They also need supplements. Uh, cases of illnesses, some people have, well, some illnesses allows unfortunately causes the person to lose a lot of vitamins and so they will need to be supplemented. Um, other cases is for example in the Emirates uh, with the Abaya a lot of people have developed vitamin D deficiency uh, yeah. and this will require because of not enough exposure to the sun because of this this would require them to take supplements like vitamin D. These foods together that's causing the health benefit of yeah. these foods or is it I mean for example vitamin C and oranges. Is it okay we just take a vitamin C supplement? No. There, there may be other nutrients, for example, in these foods that yeah. we are unaware. Maybe they are also acting synergistically with the vitamin to give us the health benefit. Yeah. Also, foods contain antioxidants that supplements don't contain. They contain fiber, especially when talking about whole grains that our supplements don't contain. So we definitely have a much better added benefit to consuming whole foods, getting our vitamins from whole foods instead of them from supplements. Um, so if someone is diagnosed with, have, uh, with lacking in something, is it better just to take a multivitamin to kind of cover all their bases or to take an individual dose of what they're lacking? Now the problem with multivitamins is, uh, first of all, they should be taken with the, after talking to a physician. This is number one. Right. Number two, the thing with multivitamins is they usually contain the recommended daily amount of all the vitamins. So when we are today, more and more of our food is being fortified with a lot of vitamins and minerals. So if we are taking multivitamins when we don't need them, okay, then what will happen is that we'll be consuming more than the recommended daily intake. And this can be toxic. Some vitamins are toxic when they're consumed in quantities above their upper limits. Okay. Um, going for a single uh, vitamin or a single mineral, like we said, in some cases there is a need for it. So if we are lacking one, then yes, we do focus on one. Uh, so one what, what happens if we're taking in more vitamins than we need? Now here it depends on the vitamin. We have two types of vitamins. We have fat-soluble vitamins and we have water-soluble vitamins. When it comes to water-soluble vitamins, the, anything in excess is excreted in the urine. So it's not as bad, uh, we don't have this level where they're stored as opposed to fat soluble vitamins where they're usually stored in the liver and the fat tissues. So if we consume above the limit, if we're consuming more than we need, these vitamins, the fat soluble ones, will be stored. Some of them need a lot of, uh, there's a lot of toxicities in the liver, for example, with vitamin A, if we over exceed the amount that we need. So yes, there is a risk, a uh, health risk with taking more vitamins that we need, specifically when we're discussing the fat-soluble vitamins. It's great to know that we can get all the vitamins we need from eating a healthy and balanced diet, and this is definitely the best option. However, if we do need something a little bit extra, it's best that we take a vitamin that's an individual dose of what we're lacking, and make sure we do it under the direction of a physician.